I'm walking up on a coon den right now. Got the Benjamin Marauder 25 cal with me with the scope cam. Oh man, I might see it. There might be a coon right here. There's the first hole we're gonna try calling. Dude, there's a coon. Do you guys see the coon? You can see his head. You can see the you can see his head. I can see his ear. Every time, like, when I drive by this, there's always a coon that's sticking his head out of there watching me, so. Yeah, he's he's there right now, so we might be able to get him. I don't even know if we're gonna have to call on this tree. I might just walk over there and shoot the coon, climb up the tree and pull him out, so. Let's see if we can get him. Just dropped one. Let's see if we can get both. Yeah, that's what coons do. They flop around. Just dropped my first daytime raccoon ever. Well, I've shot raccoons in the day before, but not like not like this out of a den. But there's still there's a double up there. There's still another one in that hole. There's another um, another entrance to the hole, like on the other side of the tree, a little bit. We'll walk, we'll walk over there, see if we can see anything. I don't see anything in there. I don't know how high up the den, the den tree goes, like the hole in the tree. It might go up pretty far and he may have just climbed up in there. All right, so I'm gonna turn the call on. We'll see if we can get that coon to come back out. Whew, man, I don't know. We might, busy, we might just be getting a single out of here, but that's fine with me. First entry of the day, we already got one down, so that's awesome. I didn't even turn the call on, I just looked right back up there. I can see the other raccoon sticking his head out, so we're gonna try and take the shot. This has to be a perfect shot. Dead. He is dead, let's go man, double. Double on raccoons out of one den. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Whoa, there he goes. He flopped right out of there. Well, we got one out of the tree. I don't know if you guys could see that, but that raccoon flopped right out of the den tree. We just got a double on raccoons on the first den tree of the day. All right, we'll go get the one that fell out of the tree real quick. Here's coon number one. Well, actually this is the second one we shot, but first one we're recovering. That shot is so perfect, right on the forehead. Instant lights out for this guy. Now we gotta get this other one out. All right, so there's actually an old tree stand up here. So I got a pretty easy way to get up here at first. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the way, but we'll figure it out. Man, there's all kinds of coon poop up here. I think it's right up here. So we should, we might be able to get up there. I'm just gonna turn the camera off so I don't fall and die. All right, I'll see you guys when we get up there. Watch there be like a third raccoon in here that I didn't see. Yep, there's number one. Oh, this is scary, I'm pretty high. Well, I guess I'm only like 15 foot, but. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, there's no other coons in there that I see. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. Okay, we'll just drop him. All right, let's get out of here. All right, here's the first one we killed. It looks bigger. I'm guessing it was a boar and a female. I'm pretty sure that was a female, the second one. Two females. Huh. That's kind of odd. Let's see where this f first one took the shot. Pretty much the exact same spot the other one hit. Right there, a little bit. A little bit to the left, I don't know why that is. I was moving a little bit. Perfect instant kills on both these coons. That's a big female though, oh my goodness. It's almost a 20 pounder. All right, 